Hey guys, John, Tech Geek Tesla. Thanks for joining me. Today's test is all about obstacle detection. I am on version 12.3 of Tesla's latest full self-driving software. I'm driving my 2019 Model 3, which has hardware 3 inside of it. I'm going to take a ladder and I'm going to place it in front of the semi truck so that it's in the sunlight, an obstacle that I definitely will have to go around. And we're going to see how well it does. If you like my content, hit the like button, subscribe, especially subscribe. I only have 5,000 subscribers. I know there are a lot of channels that have double, triple, even 10 times that amount. So please, please, please hit the subscribe button if you enjoy my content. All right, here we go. We got the ladder in the road. I'm gonna turn it on and we're gonna see what it does. Okay, full self-driving is enabled for anybody that's new. Full self-driving is an add-on package, currently $12,000 or $200 a month. Here you can see it's moving forward and Oof. all right i don't see any damage whatsoever it just clipped it must have just clipped it right at the edge of the ladder let's try it again please keep your hands on the wheel let's see if it shows up here i did jerk it out it was really really close to hitting the ladder it did not look like it registered it let's move the ladder over a little bit so it's more actually we can extend the ladder how about that let's see what it does in that situation okay so the ladder is a little bit longer than it was previously let's see what happens here so it is trying to go all the way up to 25 miles an hour and yeah it would have hit the ladder uh, that's a, a bit disappointing i'm surprised it's not seeing it you know i'm going to try extending it even longer and see what it does. So let's try it again. Please keep your hands on the wheel. It's trying to orient itself. We're in kind of an, a strange area. Okay, here we go. Now I can clearly see the ladder myself. And okay, it's slowing down. This is good. It's slowing down. <laughs> it would have gone right over it. And moving forward oh it would have gone right over it so ladies and gentlemen be very very careful when you're using full self-driving because it will run over ladders in the road all right here we go beta is enabled please keep your hands on the wheel starting to creep forward Okay, the sun is shining on it very clearly. No. Oh, 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 did you see that? Okay, that was pretty cool. All right, and once again here, let's try it with the ladder on its side. Seize the ladder. And going back inside of here. All right, now it can't get around the ladder at all. It has to go to the left. It's going nice and slow for some reason. But that's a good thing. I wonder if it sees it. So it's not showing up in the visualization, but it is going really slow, which is good. Okay, it's trying to go to the right. Okay, I did have to take over. It would have ran right over it, probably, is my guess, if I did not stop. Yet again, it probably would have gone right over it. Should be blocking that turn completely so we'll come up on it real nice and slow hopefully now i'm very curious if it can see it the visualizations are not displaying the ladder whatsoever or any type of obstacle they have an occlusion network i think is what they call it and look at this now it's actually going to the left a little bit awfully close awfully close there was actually an arrow and there you could see there was some gray matter showing up. So it did display the ladder on the screen, which is great. But one last time here, I'm gonna move it a little bit further to the left or make it more difficult to go around. Turning it on. 
please keep your hands on the wheel. Moving forward here, slowing down. I don't see it on the screen yet. Okay, hopefully it stops completely there. It's trying to go around it, creeping. Ooh, it definitely would have hit it. It would have clipped it on the right if I had let it go. It thought it could get around it. Trying to figure out which way to go. And, oof, so, <laughs> I don't know. Let, let's just get out and see how close it got. All right, that's not too bad. I mean, we've got enough space. It would have made it around. That's decent enough. You can see it was really angled the right way to go around. Now look at this, it needs to get over to the left. No, it's gonna crash right into it. So if I let it keep going, it would have crashed. Now you can see 20 inches, my ultrasonic sensors are picking up that ladder and it's saying I'm 20 inches away from an object in the road. That's interesting to see. So if I turn it on, let's just see if it goes right through there. Yes, so it just hit the ladder and the ladder fell down. So <laughs> it would have gone right over it. That probably would have created some damage, unfortunately. Now, I believe that, I don't know what version this happened, probably with the Vision Park, the High Fidelity Park Assist, I believe that Tesla, even with the cars that have ultrasonic sensors, I believe they moved away from using the sensors entirely. I think it's all vision now. So, I mean, it still gives you beeping sounds and warnings, but as far as the logic, or actually there's no logic, maybe that's why it's not going around it very well. I'm not really sure, but not a very good situation. I mean, it should, it should definitely detect it a lot better than it did in these tests. So be careful. Uh, I, I would imagine it's even more dangerous when you're going at higher speeds. Uh, you can't just trust the software to like figure itself, figure things out. You know, that's, it's, it's still in that gray zone. And I think uh, we're getting to a point now where it's doing so well, but you know, obviously if some, if an object falls out of a truck in front of you, or there's, you know, there's all sorts of edge cases. So this is, even though it's safer than it's ever been in the past, and better than ever that's a scary time because now people are going to start trusting it more you know as, as soon as you have multiple drives without any disengagements and any interventions people are going to be like oh okay hey this thing's great i can just sit back and not pay attention but that can't be further from the truth like i said there's so many edge cases i'm very fearful for the situation where you know something falls off of a truck or something falls out of a truck in front of you and you're driving uh, the object detection is not the greatest right now. I mean, that it shows up on the car as kind of some gray matter. So it is seeing it, but it's unfortunately interpreting it as an object that the car can run over. And there are situations where, for example, if it's a cardboard box or, you know, it's a, a piece of styrofoam or a plastic bag, the car will detect that and uh, just go straight over it. If you think about it, you know, what's safer, stopping when you're, when you're driving 35, 40, 50 miles an hour, stopping for something, potentially creating an accident with a car behind you, or continuing to go, thro go through, drive, and hit that small object, whether it's an animal or a bag or whatever it is. And I think the, the correct answer is it really depends, right? So if, if there's a human can, within a split millisecond, a human can glance in their rear view mirror and see somebody's there and be like, okay, I got to keep going. Or they glance in their rear view mirror, see no one's there and like, it's safe to slam on the brakes. And that's exactly what they would do. Uh, I don't know. I have not seen evidence that Tesla behaves, uh, 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 full self-driving behaves differently when there's a car behind you versus when there's no car behind you. And that would be a really good test, to be honest, because gut reaction or my you know, based on my experience, experience kind of tells me that it wouldn't react any differently. These types of edge case situations definitely need to be resolved in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later.